Hello guys, uh, it's been a while, um, due to circumstances that uh, I can't really uh, control, I've been absent for quite a while. And um, I think it's quite unrelevant now to talk about gear in the situation we're in. Uh, I really hope all of you feel that you can cope with this situation because not many of us have uh, any kind of work these days, so it's really hard. I, I got the good news that uh, I could actually start working one time once a week in a local jazz club. Um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that because uh, I'm going stone crazy here. So uh, uh, this is something that's gonna happen um, next month, probably. Uh, we'll see. We were supposed to go to Greece in May uh, and do some jobs, but <laughs> it's not likely to happen. Um, I really, I, do, I, I really don't want to talk about any kind of gear right now because I'm more concerned about all of my colleagues and uh, friends here at home and abroad that doesn't have anything to put on the table. And I mean, they literally don't have anything. Uh, every kind of artist related work and uh, musicians have to sell their instruments, sell their mixers. And there are a few guys that really profit hard on uh, this situation and on the pace. Especially guitar collectors have a great time these days if they have money. Because they can get very rare and beautiful guitars for next to nothing. Uh, I mean... It's... Uh, not a good situation. People have been working all their life to get their hands on this kind of uh, instruments and they have to sell them now because they are starving. And uh, I really miss my friends in uh, the rest of Europe and US. Um, I miss to go to London, I miss to go to Berlin. And I miss to go even to Copenhagen, it's one of my favorite cities in the whole world. Uh, things like that, my friends in Berlin and, uh, and London, and I know they're hurting really bad. So, um, bless you guys. Bless you. It's, um... It's hard for me to sit here and uh, talk about these things because there is a certain level of, uh, well, I don't know what to call it. I, I don't want to attack our politicians because they do whatever they can do to help. In the, but uh, I question how they use money sometimes. They're busy building a big monument uh, for this uh, Breivik guy who's killed a lot of people on Utøya, if you heard about that. And they want to build a monument that costs millions and millions, hundreds of millions of kroner to do this. How much this guy costs in Norwegian society is hard to say, but I feel in this in this time, the money could well be spent better to keep people up and running. Um, we're not the worst off in Norway. I, I mean, we're quite lucky compared to another, yeah, a lot of other countries. 
But still, there are a few question marks that could be made. Um, I really don't want to go deeply into this because there are a lot of things that are really could start big discussions around, but uh, I don't feel uh, I'm the right person to uh, do that. Uh, I'm broke myself, so uh, I don't, uh, but I'm not that broke. Uh, still, uh, my wife has an income and uh, we can manage. But uh, still, it's it's very hard. It's very hard. Um, for her, it's a tricky situation because she can't perform uh, anymore. And she told me the other day that she really got uh, jumpy when she heard her own voice uh, in full tilt. Uh, when she was rehearsing a little bit. Um, that's what's happened after a year, uh, you get rusty, but still, I guess uh, we will get back in the game and up on the horse and uh, get going. So we really look forward to uh, get the vac uh, everybody got the vaccine and we can start living uh, close to normal again. And, um, For all the things it's worth uh, out there, um, God bless you guys and uh, keep on, uh, hold on and just stick in it for a few more months and we will get over it and we, we will uh, collectively take revenge over this uh, bloody pandemic shit and um, for all the guys that died the best to your families um, sincerely from all uh, at least in my game wish you the best uh, regardless of of political opinions and shit like that uh, it shouldn't be necessary to take that into consideration we need each other and that's it so until uh, next time I was about to say grab your mic, but still, hold your mic ready, uh, it might be more, uh, more like it, so, take care, bye.